Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Might Magic Hero 6. We are on episode 10, double digits, ladies and gentlemen. And it's, well, it's going okay. We have time to just kind of roam around and do some more stuff here with Duke Slava. And yeah, we're, we're getting pretty close to being done, guys. Pretty close to being done with the tutorial. I keep saying this, and it doesn't ever seem like we're getting any closer. But I assure you, we are always moving in that direction. Might not always seem it, but we are always moving in that direction. Alright, that being said, it looks like we have triple issues coming toward us. And that can't be great. However, it might be okay. Alright, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Not nearly enough oomph to do much of anything, really. Alright, we're going to go and kill you off. And then we're going to go and actually kill you off. Alright, if we move you away... Hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Let's move you a little bit away. And that should be out of range. So they don't seem to want to close with us or do any kind of damage, which is rather interesting, I would say. Alright, we're going to buff, 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 buff you up. Alright, we're going to do massive damage to you. We're going to do massive damage to you. And the unfortunate reality is we can't kill both. We're going to kill the four instead of the two. Why? Because we can. And down he goes. And now we're going to have the little baby attacks, which shouldn't kill anyone. Mostly because they do zero damage. And the retaliatory striking, which means victory is ours with absolutely no losses. And that's how we like it. That's how we like to roll. Um, it's a new week. He might be on the move. If he is, we'll return here and then teleport in the next turn to wherever he's actually going. But for now, we're just going to continue to move around and do whatever it is that we do when we move around and do things. It's fine. It's totally fine. We'll have her start wandering too, I guess. There's really no point in her staying back at the other place. Additionally, we do have buildings we can still build. So let's do that, shall we? What do we, what do we, what do we, what do we have? Um, what is this one? I think we only need one of these. If we have more than one, I don't think it matters. So we're going to go with this. What is cool about this, you ask? It's funny you should ask. I will show you guys. I think, yeah, let's see here. No, oh, what do we what do we do? I, I'm trying to remember how this works. I apologize. It might have to charge up. I don't remember, guys. There is some way to actually do it. I don't know what that way is right now, though. That is the problem. Or maybe I just do click on this. There it is. That's how I do it. Okay. So we want to know a little bit more about. I don't know. Let's see here. We want to know a little bit more about this area up here. Oh look, there's a portal of some type over here that we are totally going to go through. And it's probably going to spit us out back over here. We'll see. We will see. Okay, so everyone's just about moved. We're going to go here and we're going to tag this. We're going to make that our mine of gold. We're going to come here. We're going to get some experience points. Going to tag that up. We're going to go, hey, shake my hand. Okay. And it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. But the whole reason we're doing that is we want to transfer the bag of gold that was just sitting there wasting away doing literally nothing into the hands of someone who can actually utilize it and, well, it do something more than sit there and do nothing. I know. A lot of double speak. A lot of double speak. It's fine. All right. Is the wolf going to move? The wolf is scared. The wolf is a little bit terrified. I can't say I blame the wolf. I, I do a little bit. I do blame the wolf just slightly, but not that much. Alright, looks like we are up against some ghouls. And we will slaughter them, and they will die a horrible, painful second death. I mean, if you kill an undead, it's not death because, you know, they're un... So is it a second death? Is it death number two? Like, how do they, how do, they do that? I mean, how does that work? Alright, well, I'm going to go over here and be like... Yes, what? What? You did. Bonk. Boom. Down he goes. Swing and a miss. Yep. And victory is ours. 
Yep, that happened. So, good stuff. Compelling and rich, I know. I'm surprised too at how amazing I am. Let's sing my honest praises. Come on. Shower me in honest praise, it's fine. Okay, what are we gonna do next? I'd like to tag that. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do next. We're gonna hit that, then we're gonna go back and hit the other thing. Oh, looks like there's gonna be some archery! An archery contest? Anyone? Anyone? Robin Hood men in tights? No? Nothing? Aw, oh, you guys are weak. You guys are weak. Alright, let's do some reinforcing. That's gonna do a little bit of damage. Not gonna lie. We're going to make her immune to all damage. That did next to nothing. I'm just saying. We're gonna skip her turn. And we're gonna move good old Praetorians on closer. It's gonna do a total of zero critically struck damage. Also gonna move a bit closer with her. And it looks like it's time to mark him as a heretic. And do some damage. A little bit more. Look at that. That is sweet, sweet, nice right there. This retaliatory striking should do zero damage as well. Also, critically striking them hurts a little bit. 88 of them died. And the rest of them are going to die now as well. So if you can gather a bunch of sisters or vestals or whatever you want to call it, they do some significant work. Plus that dazed attack that they have. It's really good when it does trigger. Just in case you were wondering. Alright, we have totally tapped out his movement points. That is okay-ish. It's not great, but it's okay. We'll tag that. Tag that, that. I guess we'll head over here, because eventually we're going to be needed. And she can move on. See, I just heard the music change. I'm not crazy. I heard it. It's a thing, folks. It's a thing. Alright, we're going to end our turn. Is the wolf going to make his move? The wolf is like, No, nah, I'm scared. The griffin's too strong. What am I going to do? Pretty much die. You heard the music change again. All right, the supreme crown of the magister. Not really great for us. We don't really need that. Um, I don't know why I bothered doing that. Stop. Stop it. That's where I want you. Yes. You, woman, go. Get the crown of the magister. Magistrate, whatever. That actually looks really cool. Uh, five magic power, 50 mana, five mana regen. We have lightning. Eh, we'll keep it over here for now. It's fine. Alright, she can go down here and tag that and get herself some more experience. And then we'll move on over to do more things. Now, the liches are interesting, if I recall correctly. I don't remember why. I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed by the strength of our army. We'll let them go. We are going toward the tears victory. Alright, doubles are base mana pool, which doesn't really mean anything to me, because I pretty much do not use mana in any way, shape, or form at this point. Alright, my guess is... Oh, I say, my guess is the wolf might move soon, but apparently my guess was incorrect. Okay, looks like double ghost and then a super ghost. I'm not sure what the super ghost is called, or if they're even called ghosts or banshees or ghouls or what. We'll see here in a moment. Alright, it's a specter and ghosts, so they are indeed called things. Alright, we're going to do a triple strike there. We're going to do maybe the 34? 32. That was pretty bloody close. Are we going to do up to 57? Eh, I think we'll give it a shot. I think we'll give it a shot. And we were just powerful enough to make it happen. Alright, and get wrecked. Oh, they got to move. Well, I, I'm not really super sad about this. It, it really doesn't matter to me in any way. Oh, look, you're having a bad time. Oh, look, retaliatory strike. Wow, we actually crit with our, our little dude knifing it up. And victory is ours. So normally it's not going to be this easy, guys. You're not going to find, more than likely, you're not going to find that artifact that allows you to basically negate the first three damages done to you in a turn. I mean, that is pretty baller, as they say. It's pretty freaking boss. It really is. It's like, well, what are they going to do? Target your healer? Target your archer? They can't. They do zero damage. It's kind of a game changer, you know? It's kind of a big deal. 
All right, it's gonna fire on you, fire on you again. And you know what? I think I will go out and give you hugs. Come, let us hug. Hug of light! Aw, you didn't heal for anything. Bigger hug of light! And super hug of light! Yeah, he's dead. Nah, probably not. He's almost dead. Pretty close. Alright, that really didn't do much for you there, did it, guy? Nope. And good day, sir. Alright, down he goes. And victory, once again, is ours. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. I mean, it's kind of all over but the crying right now for this particular group. So, that all being said and done, we'll have our gal pal here come over and grab this. Some experience. Yay, she leveled up again. Woohoo! Level 2 Guardian Angel. Interesting. I think we've already tapped out everything else that we needed to. So this is all going super good for us. Super duper good. I suppose we could visit the Shrine of Enlightenment if we absolutely had to. She can still move. Why is it showing that she can't? Alright. Let's end our turn. He's still not going to make the move. It's so weird. Alright, we captured another gold mine of death. We'll tag that, this, and that. And I think that's it. Pretty sure we're, we're done with everything except the final battle, guys. This, well, this too. And then the final battle. Alright, now the liches are normally a little bit more challenging, but again, with that artifact in tow, it's not going to be that big of an issue. Also, this map configuration kind of sucks for us. Okay, so if I recall correctly, the liches have the ability to... Do they have the ability to resurrect? I, I don't know. They have some sort of special ability that's actually quite powerful. Undead, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Vulnerability to light, yes, okay. And emotionless. I thought there was something. Maybe it's just he's another ranged character, guys. Maybe that's the only difference. I don't know. I'm not entirely certain. But, not, oh, I think maybe he does an AoE when he attacks. That might be it. Well, if it is, I think it, that is actually what's going on. I think he actually has an AoE, and if that is indeed the case, we need to be careful when grouping up. Because we'll just basically compound the situation, you know? Which is something we try to avoid doing at all costs. Alright, so reinforcements we're going to call forth, we're going to do some more damage, and we're going to take another shot, which is literally going to do nothing, and then he'll retaliate doing literally nothing if we don't kill him outright, which it looks like we're going to do. So, down he goes. Love the death animation, guys. I love the animations in this game. I think they've done a fantastic job with it. I even like the little short cinematics when you do a crit. You can disable that, by the way, if it bothers you. I actually find them to be rather enjoyable. Granted, it is the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, I wasn't expecting to be over here. This might change some scenarios. The Dragon Claw Amulet, okay. Uh, Life Drain Scroll, intriguing. And the Dwarven Shield. What else do we have? Oh, we have... I guess some experience for us here. And then where is this going to take us? We don't have enough movement. Okay, well, since we did just teleport off into the boonies and we have no idea where we're at, let's take a look at our actual items now. What did we get? We got that. A claw necklace, because it's two magic power. And we got the dwarven shield, was it? Yeah. Plus two might. Okay. We can totally dig this. Our dynasty weapons are here. Why are we why do we not have the sword of Griffin selected? We should have had that selected the whole time. Well, I guess I'm terrible at life. I guess that's my, my lot in life. Here's one of the problems I have with this. You can't see the details of what those individual things do. Like, plus five destiny, plus three leadership. That's fine. You know what that is. But what is Griffin's heart and Griffin's roar? I don't know. You can only find that out on the other page. And I think we can go to the conflux from here. And I believe we can actually look that up if we were so inclined. I'm not sure. 
I was under the impression you could, but maybe not. Maybe it's not possible. What is this that this does? Once per week, we can reveal the map, and then this one. I guess we have it equipped already? I, I don't I don't know what's going on, guys. It's totally fine. Alright, we're gonna close that up and we're gonna have her come over here and tag that. Then come on down here, I guess, and tag this. I believe the wolf should move now because we're kind of off map with our big army. I imagine he doesn't see us. No, he still isn't gonna move. Alright, well I'm just gonna stop assuming that he's gonna do anything then. It does not appear that that's the case. Additionally, I don't think we ever found the final heirloom. Huh. We have two of the three pieces, and I think we've covered the entire map. I don't believe there's anything left. If we take a look, we've pretty much covered it all. I mean, is there something down here that we can do off to the left? Or I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. It doesn't appear like there is. Well, let's, let's tap into the town's ability to look at stuff. Oh, it's not it's not up yet. Okay. All right. Well, let's get back to town then. I suppose. Um, we'll tag this along the way, and then we're gonna go for broke guys. We're gonna go for the end game here and end the tutorial. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop back over to Might and Magic Heroes. Or sorry, Heroes of Might and Magic Three, the HD edition. And from there, who knows what's going to happen? Who can say? We'll probably play through one scenario, like I've, I've planned, you know, one map. And then once that's done, we'll hop back over here and we'll play a little bit more Might and Magic Heroes 6. And then whenever I do get my hands on Might and Magic Heroes 7, we will go from there. I'll probably do some showcasing of the beta. And, yeah, you guys should enjoy that, I would assume. That's my assumption, anyway, that you guys would actually have some enjoyment out of all of that. And we're just going to end our turn right now. And we should have new troops available, and we should have the Eye of Sauron or something going on over here. And we're going to go right out here in the middle of the ocean, and we see nothing. Alright, folks, well, let's let's light this candle. Let's do whatever with something about a firecracker. I don't know. Let's get this done. We'll also check the, the artifacts here real quick. And 12k, what is this? Left click to do it? Okay, we already have that one actually. This one's 20k, it's a magic affinity and a bunch of scrolls that I don't care about. So I am ready to go. We are set with a, well, about as big of a lead as we could possibly want. And let's head on over and get this done. Actually, you know what we're going to do instead? So we're going to teleport to here. And in theory, there we are. We've made it. We have arrived. All right. Now, worst case scenario, he's going to send his guy out now to try to counterplay us. I don't, yeah, I say, I don't think that's the play, though. I don't think that's the best of ideas, guy. Edmund, if that is your real name. All right, we're going to end our turn, and we're going to go for the finish. That's right, we're going to Finland, guys. We're going for the finish. Okay, 41, 36, 39, not super impressive, and, well, I'm pretty sure that we have this in spades, as they say. And, yep, zero damage, and, yeah, I'm not super worried about it. Not super worried about it. Alright, we're gonna use our heroism. And, with luck, he's super dead. There's no way he survives. We can wait our turn, we can wait his turn, we can wait our turn. Apparently we're going to have to move out. How far can you move? You can move there, we can move here. And... That's right, you can attack diagonally, can't you? Well, that's awkward. That is super awkward. I probably, honestly, should not have attacked him, but we'll see. And we might kill her outright, we did. So we lost some people. That was my fault for attacking the one guy. I shouldn't have. We could have actually resurrected everybody who got hurt and been fine. But I misplayed a little bit there. Eh, it is what it is. Alright, there it is. Okay, let's take a look over here. We can get reinforcements too, which I'm super excited about. I'm liking the reinforcements thing, guys. Additionally, we get tactics too next. 
if that was a thing, but I think we're going to end up having to start over when we're done with this. Like, I don't think Duke Slava or any of the others are actually going to come with us, so bear that in mind. We almost did make it up to the tiers level of things. Um, and I'm trying to think. Well, there was something else I wanted to do, and I have no idea what that is now. Doesn't really matter. Oh, we have to do it in spell. Oh, here we go. Get attuned to the Sword of Griffin. Yeah. Cool. All right, and it looks like this is the final battle, and it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. All right, bring it on, and we're going to randomly crack the wall over there. Oh, they negated all of our oomph. Well, that's not super good. What did that do to us? Armor piercing, blah, 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 living. Okay. Anathema? Anathema? I don't, I don't know what that is, guys. Sorry. Uh, eight? Wow, that's awful. We probably don't want something like that. Alright, what is this? Um, okay, it is reinforcements, too, and it looks like it actually stayed on there. Life drain's a pretty cool skill, too, by the way, guys. But we'll, we'll wait on... Wait on it for now. Alright, we will stack that up a little bit higher, and we're gonna go for the full kill on the Vestals, and down they go. And we're going to siege the gate. And once we do this, we will be victorious. And then you guys can all be like, I'm proud of you. Be like, yeah, you are. Alright, so. The good and the bad news is he does have a lot of smaller groups, so the multiple attacks at the beginning, you know, with double archers and everything else. Ooh, haste! This guy is apparently a magic affinity type individual, because he is rocking all the nasty spells that we do not enjoy. That's okay. I can totally tolerate that and dig it and all that wonderful fun stuff. Alright, what do we want to do now? We want to murder you outright. Unfortunately, not quite quite enough, and you're going to get healed up quite a bit, not fully, but decent amount. We're, oh, he's coming out of the gate, and he's going to attack our gal, which we're going to kind of share the damage. I'm not really worried at this point, guys. If we end up losing 80% of our people and we win, it doesn't matter to me, but we'll see. Maybe I'll play it a little bit safer. Oh, now they did mass heroism on his part. Interesting. Oh, look, they're lined up. That's not great. Alright, let's see here. We'd like to do some bonus damage to you, madam. And we shall. She can heal up as much as she can. It's not going to be that much. And we should be able to throw, yeah, a big old giant heal up on him. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. We're going to continue to smack the gate. And we're going to hope against hope and dream against dreams. I really wish our catapult operator would operate the catapult in the right position. Oh. That was unpleasant, to be sure. Alright, let's do this then. 30. <laughs> almost. Almost enough. Alright, what do we have here? 12. I can tolerate that. That's fine. No, one more damage. Buff him up, and then we should be able to get two smacks on the gate, and I think we'll be able to take it out in the next turn. We'll see. Alright, so the gal's going out. He's coming back down. I looks, I said, it looks like he wants to come through and attack us, but maybe I'm wrong. Some more minor annoyances, minor inconveniences, if you will. Okay, what do we want to do... Well, we can do he heroism again, mass heroism. Um, I think we're gonna skip one of the turns, and I think we're gonna attack, and then we're gonna try to do the. the oh, we can't resurrect after the attack. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna use our guardian angel thing on her, and then we're just gonna skip her turn. And, oh, double Guardian Angels are up. That's not pleasant. OK, 
Okay, well, it looks like we should be able to do some damage here. And I suppose we will. Okay, looks like we're getting a crit. And bam, right in the thigh that time. Yeah, he's not having a good day. And she's going to kill him outright. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Looks like we're going to lose some more of our individuals over here. She's trying to close with them. It's not really going to work. I mean, I guess we can shoot that guy. And now we're probably going to get shot one final time by our buddy here with the 58. Yep. Again, not super concerned with it. We're going to wait. As long as she doesn't close, and she closed with them. That's, that's great. Oh, but there's a problem with that. Okay, we can go after him or we can go after this guy. Let's just go after him. Alright. We're going to mark you as a heretic and then we're going to take you down, buddy. And then he can just stab her because she decided to close with him. You dare close with our archers? You fool. How dare you do this? And stabbed and victory is ours. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't lose that many overall. I mean, they lost more and he used a lot of spells. It's always tough to combat and tough to come back from. Stop! Wife stealer! Heretic! Why don't you just accept your fate and call me winner? I came as quickly as I could when I heard that two of my dukes were at war. The war is over, your majesty. And Gerhardt is going home. Your journey was a waste of time. Slava, do not speak to me as... Friends. I think he's talking to you two. Duke Slava, I recall the heroism of you and your family when demon-worshipping orcs invaded your duchy. You honor me, my lord. Yet now you permit orcs to run free, here upon the land that is sacred to Elrath. They have killed as many demons as I. And Gerhardt, in your zeal to cleanse the lands, you lost many troops. True, my lord. Yet you both know the prophecy. Our demon invasion is imminent, and you waste troops on petty squabbles. You, Gerhardt, will withdraw your troops. Your emperor agrees. I must consider. But there will be no lasting peace without a union. Slava, do you not have daughters? And does Gerhardt not seek a wife? He does. And I do. They're children. They will grow up sooner than you think. Your eldest arena will be given in wedlock to Gerhardt. Is this not in line with your desires, your majesty? Ah, oh, yes. Perfectly. Perfectly. Then the blessings of Elrath upon you. Prepare for war, friends. The demons are coming. For the light! Both of you, leave my land. I will have your daughter. And for such an important union, the dowry should be large. Take the bones of your dead kinsmen home as dowry, Gerhardt. You won't get a handful of dirt more. Then I'll take it from Irina's high. Wolf! We hunt! Slava, look what your quick temper has done to your family this time. Well, ain't that just poopy? Well, that sucks. We just lost our daughter to our mortal enemy here. Alright, and... Ladies and gentlemen, there is the victory for you. So, we massacred a lot of people with our archers. It is simply what it is. The archers were used the most, of course, and our stupid little harpies were used the least. The favorite targets were there were many, 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 many sentinels. And, ironically, our most efficient was our uh, Praetorians. Creature controlled by you that dealt the most damage while receiving the least damage. That's kind of ironic. And we got the rank of veteran. So there we go. All right, folks, that is going to do it for this particular episode. I'm going to hop out real quick. We're going to go to end game, I guess. We're going to take a look around and see what the menus pop up with us. And I will show you where we're going to start up in the next scenario.
So we did that and we did this. So it has happened and yeah. The tutorial is done. As you see here, it will say tutorial campaign. And we're going to start up here, actually, as the next one, the Necropolis campaign. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to move to the Haven campaign, then to the Sanctuary campaign, the Inferno campaign, the Stronghold campaign, and then finally the final campaign, which is, well, more or less, if you want to think about it, it is more or less the first part of, like, the original base game, Might and Magic Hero 6, is done. And then these are all expansion campaigns. We have the Fortunes of Captain Hack, the Fall of the House of Bull, the Other Elves, and a Selfish Prayer for Light. So the Necropolis Campaign 2. Either way, folks, the next time I grace you all presence with Might and Magic Hero 6, we'll be starting up the Necropolis Campaign, and we will see what that's all about. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Don't forget to check out Might and Magic Heroes, or sorry, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. See, it's going to screw me up every time. Uh, Might and Magic here. <laughs> see, again, Heroes of Might and Magic 3 HD Edition, guys. It's going to be coming as the replacement. Like, again, we're sharing kind of the same time slot, if you want to call it that. Um, so we're going to do a campaign out of that or a mission out of that. And then once that mission map, whatever scenario is done, we'll come back to Might and Magic Hero 6. Either way, guys, until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.